On the day after Halloween, Sally's mom told her that she was only allowed to eat 25% of the candy that she had received from strangers the night before. So, in order to decide which candies to eat, Sally decided to conduct a little experiment. First, she used a probability method of sampling, stratified, which is used when subpopulations vary greatly from each other. The researcher should sample them independently. So, in order to do this, Sally decided to separate each of the candies that she got. When you use stratified sampling, you get your entire group first, your sample first, a big sample that's random. So she got all of this candy from random strangers, so it was random. Then you separate them based on their subcategories. So Sally separated hers into Smarties, Gummies, Tootsie Rolls, Lemonheads, and Suckers. Then from each of your groups, you take a random sampling based on their proportions. So she took a few Smarties randomly, some Tootsie Rolls, some lemon heads a sucker and she got to eat all of them to see which one she liked best. They came from a random group and then were separated by category and then randomly chosen from each category. After that she decided to use a non-probability method, quota sampling, which is when a researcher is looking for a very specific type to participate in their study and studies only members from that group. So after Sally did her probability stratified sampling, she decided that her favorite were Tootsie Rolls. So she did a quota sample and took all the Tootsie Rolls out of this random sample that she had and studied eight all of the Tootsie Rolls. It is not random but it is very helpful when looking at specific populations which Sally was doing. And Sally got to eat 25% of her candy, and she was happy. The end.